Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on geometry that is polygons. A, B, C, D, E is a regular pentagon. So pentagon is a polygon with five sides. D, E, F is a straight line. So this is a straight line. We have to find out the angle A, E, F. So this is the angle we need to find out. Now to find this angle, let us try to find out each interior angle of this pentagon. Let us use a formula given as n minus 2 times 180 degrees divided by n, where n stands for the number of sides of the polygon. Since this is a pentagon, it has 5 sides. So let us substitute 5 in this formula. So it becomes 5 minus 2 times 180 degrees divided by 5. So this simplifies as 5 minus 2 is 3 times 180 divided by 5 and finally it gives us an angle of 108 degrees which means each angle of this pentagon is going to be 108 degrees. So this is 108, similarly this is 108, this is 108 and this is 108. So all the angles that is A, B, C, D, E all are going to be 108 degrees. Now since we have to find out the angle A, E, F that is this angle and D, E, F is given as a straight line. So we can use the property of a straight line and get this angle as 180 degrees minus 108 because D, E, F is a straight line. So that is going to give us an angle of 72 degrees. So the angle AEF is 72 degrees. Now let us look at the part B of this question. Find the angle DAE. So let us see which angle it is. So it is over here that is angle DAE. This is the angle we need to find out. Now in the question they had mentioned that it is a regular pentagon which means that all the sides of the pentagon are going to be equal in size. So taking this into consideration, let us consider the triangle ADE. Since two sides of this triangle are equal, then this becomes an isosceles triangle. So if this angle, we take it as x, then we have this angle as x as well. Now using the angle sum property of the triangle, we can write as angle A plus angle D plus angle E is equal to 180 degrees. So we have angle A as X, angle D we have as X and angle E we have as 108 degrees equal to 180. So adding these two X's we get 2X is equal to 180 minus 108 which gives us an angle of 72 degrees. So x is going to be 72 degrees divided by 2 which is 36 degrees. So we get the angle DAE as 36 degrees. So let us write it over here. It is going to be 36 degrees. I hope you have understood all the steps and like this video. So if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. 